Mandy and Megan are the daughters of Pat Lyons, who's had Alzheimer's for 10 years. When my dad was in his early 60s that um, he started to see symptoms and he was pretty good also at trying to cover things. And I think that he had some amazing, um, you know, administrative assistants that did a fantastic job of helping him. Pat Lyons was a professor emeritus of economics and worked at SDSU for 39 years, fulfilling many roles with many accomplishments, including teacher of the year five times throughout his tenure. He taught at the university. He was the legal aid advisor. He was the, you know, student senate um, advisor. He had been an advisor for one of the fraternities. He um, he owned a number of rental properties. He he farmed a bunch of land around South Dakota, um, and he was a retired colonel in the National Guard. However, he had to retire in 2014 due to his Alzheimer's getting worse. I remember the day that he called and he said, Megan, I was teaching in the rotunda today, and I got there, and I couldn't for the life of me figure out how to run my PowerPoint. And I've been using PowerPoint since the day it was invented. I just couldn't figure it out. I had to have Mandy and from, Megan both saw you know, how IT bad Pat's mental state was and declining. Me to get my and Mandy quit her job to take care of her father along with her two sons. They were both struggling with losing their dad to this disease until a person whose family member was also struggling with Alzheimer's told Mandy. You're in the worst phase right now. It's not going to get better, but it's going to get easier to manage. And, and I remember thinking... That's that's exactly what I needed. They both took that information to heart and became people to rely on when others were struggling with how to take care of someone with Alzheimer's. We've had friends, we've had new friends that we've met because of this disease and um, being where we are um, in kind of our the, the stage that, that dad's in right now and everything that we've been through, that we can help facilitate that learning and that growth and that acceptance from um, in other people that are going through it too. And they recommend two things. Call on others for support, like the Alzheimer's Association. Use the Alzheimer's Association. They have a 24 hour hotline that you can call 24 hours a day if you are having any questions, if you're really sad, We've called for about every reason, and they're amazing. And try to be open with everyone about Alzheimer's. Be as open as you can and talk about it as much as you can so that people do feel comfortable still spending time with you, even if it's not the same person that they, you know, knew before.